What's up funky people, I'm Iteration Funk and we're back in our dev environment for my mod pack that I'm making. So yeah, if you're excited about what you've seen so far in these videos, you can, you know, head on head on down to my Discord channel because sometimes I I have I have been known to actually post updates in the channel I have for this pack there. So if you're interested in seeing more stuff like screen caps or just me talking about the pack, you can head on over there and hang out. Now, this is just a testing world. So yeah, I've, I've played through the quests a bit and done some more quests, a fair amount actually. But before I talk about the progression, I actually added the one probe in instead of Wayla or Wyla, I guess it's called now. <laughs> and yeah, it's really good. You can actually customize the border and backdrop and stuff and the thing I like like about it the most is that you can see internal fluid capacity and stuff with it so I think I prefer that to be honest and you know yeah it's just I think I think it's it has some merits that Wyla don't that we're gonna use I think you can probably see inventories in Wyla too but the liquid thing is really important for me I also added artisan artisan work tables and yeah I'm not us using all of this but it's a really cool mod. It's like a mod for mod pack makers to make more interesting crafting table recipes and you, know, you have to be careful about what you add in here since it's not really automatable. But I think for early game it's it's really good to add a couple of niche recipes. So right now I'm still still working on the sifting process a bit and actually added a couple of blocks here. So you can actually break down gold ore into gold and dust from Content Weaker. So I made a model for that. And I'm not it's a bit too gradient for me. Uh not entirely happy with it. I also made a blaze powder block that I'll talk later about, but I think that looks pretty neat. It's a lot better than this one. I also made one for ash, That's it's decent, it's not super good, I'm not feeling it yet, but yeah, the blaze powder block came out pretty good. So the ash block we get from actually crushing up block of cold coke, and yeah, it's later used to get pulverized coal and blaze powder. All of these recipes are added in uh, artisan work tables for the masons work table. So you can specify what you need, like input for fluids and tools, and if it should uh, take durability from the tool. So if we take a look at the path here, we need to break up iron ore, to get some dust, and we need a small amount of water and any sieve. And you can get the main output item, in this case it's redstone. And then you have a chance for these extra output items. So 8% chance or 4 or 5 prismarine shard, then it's 14% chance. I should switch these around so the higher chance is first, I guess. And I need this just so we get some copper and aluminium so we can actually, uh, you know, create casts and stuff later in the smeltery. But yeah, it's really cool. And where is that? I just want to show off the script file real quick. So you have these things where you specify which table it is, if it's shapeless or you know shaped and you can add the output and the tool to be used and this value is how much damage it will take. And these have water so we need to set the fluid and how much in millibuckets and then extra outputs and the chance, it's pretty good. It's actually, it's actually really really good so at the early game you're not gonna sift with um, Exna Hilo. Later on I think I'll add these things to Xnahilo so you can use the auto sifter from Xnahilo and kind of automate the process but early game you're going to do this. Do I have some dust? Yeah. So we get some redstone and sometimes it pops up these things, the extra output. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Now a path, a thing I hadn't solved for the hammer yet is that you need string. 
So I also added a custom content tweaker shear that you're going to use in the work table to get string. And so, since it's such a crude tool, you can't really go up to shears and actually use it. You need to kill, kill sheep. Did I say walk up to shears? Man, I hope I didn't do that. That, that would be awkward. Anyways, you kill sheep and you get uh, wool. And this wool you can then use, come back here and use the stone shears to get some string. And that's how you get the hammer. So, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the thing I'm probably most happy with these two last weeks. I know I didn't record one last, uh, last week, but I got some work done. It's not two weeks worth of work because I was swamped with other things, but it's... No, I did some stuff. In any case, here it is, the glorious Tinker's structure where you unlock the Tinker Smeltery. So it's kind of a parkour slash jumping puzzle, but instead of jumping, you use your hook that you received early on. So yeah, you can actually make your way up here. And I kind of measured out these platforms so you can't skip to any. So I can't really skip to any of these from here. I need to go to this one. And it's pretty fun actually. I'm I'm really happy with this. And at the top you have the you know final platform with some stuff, which we'll see soon. Just one final step here. There we go. So we have some seared bricks. So we can get some extras for our smelter later. We get some grout, seared bricks, and every chest will contain the hot liquids for hot liquids for dummies book. And let me just get rid of that. There we go. So we have the smelter stage. You have an item frame, the mending moss if you would like it. And yeah, a lonely tree. And these spawn in every biome. Should probably update it. I think it says that it is in bodies of water right now, but yeah, they aren't anymore. So I need to change that. Let's go back to our little area. So I've also worked on the smeltery uh, a bit. Now there is a problem, or I had a problem with it. I think I've solved it now. I actually worked a ton on it today. Is that you can't really get lava since we can't do buckets since we can't melt metals yet so the solution here which i'm still working on a bit is that you you can create a fluid that's called liquid blaze give me a second here so you can make liquid blaze and you can do it in the smeltery but of course you would need some sort of smeltery fluid before you can do this so you can also make it in the crucible uh, from X and Hilo. For the crucible to work, you need lava. So you need a crucible, you need to go into the world and find a lava source block. Let's just take one out here. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's hot. And then, you know, we can just make some of these blaze powder blocks. You can place it in here. And it's gonna start getting some liquid blaze and so you can get it out two ways you can either you know pour it into a sear tank this has iron apparently let me grab another one there we go another one so we can make sure this guy gets liquid blaze there we go and we can of course take it out with you and we can take it out from here as well if you want but if you want to break this, the lava might remove it, so you know, you can come here and replace this block and... Oh, I die. But anyways, when you have that, you know, you can come back here and just fill it up and you should be good. You should be good to go, go with your smeltery. Initially, I was planning on using the creosote in here to kickstart you so you could get a iron bucket then fetch some lava but 
Turns out creosote oil isn't really a fuel source, it's a, it's a weaker acid, as I gather, that's used to procure wood. So I think it's a bit far-fetched that you could use it in the smeltery. Even though liquid blaze is also probably a bit far-fetched. It's a bit mythical, but I don't mind going there. I also worked some on some unification, so I added Unidict for like... That's the first part of it, so if we take a look at, for example, plates here. We get lead plates from Thermal Foundation, even if we do it with Engineer's Hammer. And that's the same in the metal press and the casting table. You can see it's all thermal, really. And we get the thermal creosote oil, the thermal coke, cold coke, and yeah. A lot of Unidict stuff done. I also made sure to remove all of the Exna Hilo stuff. So all of the all of the different ores and stuff is removed from the ore dict and they are also removed from JI. So this mod looks really small when you remove all of that. I still have the cobalt ore dust and uh, those things because there's no other mod that really adds that. Yeah, I think. I think that's gonna be be really neat. I also made sure to gate the furnace behind the dried bricks and I even removed dust recipes here so it's really not a lot of... can't really smelt a lot of things and I need to add a recipe for the crucible still that's still, still in progress. But yeah there's not a ton of stuff in here it's only 21 recipes I think maybe this will have to go, but yeah. So you know, you can't do glass or anything that requires higher temperature, it's just a bunch of food and some other crap. Can't do much, but it will help, because you will, will still need to eat. And there's really a lot of animals in this world, so you shouldn't be going around being hungry all the time. Man, I totally forgot and tell you how you get water, because, of course, you have no bucket yet, <laughs> you're sifting, right? So, actually added, instead of just going full ham and adding another mod that maybe adds clay buckets or something like that, I added a little flare quest where they mess up. What do you mean you didn't give them a way to obtain water? This ruins everything! So, yeah, there's a way to get, you know, some glass bottles here and you can, can come back and, you know, reclaim it. Let's go out of edit mode. There we go. So you just, can just come back and whenever you need buckets, you can reclaim them and you get a little bit of water here that you can put in the, put in the work table here. So yeah, I think that's it's a pretty neat solution and I think it's a nice flare. I should also do something like that for the hook. Because if you die and maybe lose the hook or, you know, hit the... Fling the hook into lava or something. I would like the player to be able to just get another hook before he needs to find that uh, tinker's, tinker's structure. I'm really excited about that quest. It's... Man, stroke of genius. I'm, I'm so smart. Anyway, sorry if it was a bit rambly, but that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, development diary and, you know, if you did, don't forget to join the Discord and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week, where I'll hopefully wrap up Exoria. Take care, stay funky.